Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Coker Corner. It's a new semester, so you know what that means. New books, new binders, new materials, and new Tiger TV. Oh yeah. Stay tuned, children. Stay tuned. Do you feel sluggish throughout your day? Like you don't have enough energy or the groove to move? Well, we might have the solution for you. Get some Enton and soft these donuts right now! Get some energy throughout your day! Oh, hello. Welcome to the Coker Corner again. Things are going to get quite robotic. Robotics here at South is a for first organization. We are both a club and a team. Uh, the club consists of all ages, unlimited amount of members. The team consists of 15 members, uh, and those members are based on how often you come to our club meetings and how much you participate. And so what we do in the club meetings would be, we're given a game through first organization uh, in September, and then we have to build a robot to play this game. And so what that means is from the ground up, we have to build an 18 by 18 by 18 inch robot. And so it could play the game. And then we basically practice from September until our first qualifier sometime in December or January. And then we have a competitions between basically um, between December and February. And then so we have two qualifiers, state, uh, regionals and world. Other than building just a robot, we participate in a bunch of volunteer events throughout our community. Uh, so we do a lot of the um, Explore More Days at our elementary schools, as well as participating in local events. So this year we went to Chick-fil-A and did a robotics night at Chick-fil-A, as well as um, participating in STEM expos throughout the year. Uh, so those are our community events. And then also, through the club, uh, not just building a robot, we do a lot of media stuff like this, um, a lot of writing and drawing, uh, basically for the robot, but it's more than just building a robot. Uh, something we need to do differently in the next years for robotics would be to have our quote-unquote hell week earlier on in the season, so we're not here until 8 o'clock at night, the night before competition. That would be good for sleep and for sanity. Uh, another thing to continue to do for the next couple years would be to continue to find sponsors, maybe gain longer sponsorships uh, for multiple seasons through companies. Uh, that would be beneficial for our team. Uh, something great about the organization FIRST, uh, that stands for For the Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, uh, something great about them is that they offer $25 million in scholarships every year to FIRST students. So that would be any student participating in a FIRST organization such as FTC Robotics here at South. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor, Mr. Scheffler, and also Mr. C, the head of the science department.
No. Oh. Hello again, and welcome to the Coker Corner. For our next skit, we'll be presenting a very fanciful, hip interview. Stay tuned. I'm Tom Janowski, I'm a sophomore, and I'm part of Smash Club. I'm Ethan Kane, I'm a junior here, and uh, I've been helping out Smash Club since last year when it first started. Jonathan Shrum, uh, my petition is one of the co-leaders for Smash Club, and uh, I'm a senior. My name is Jacob Hans, I am a junior here at South, and I'm the leader of Smash Club. What makes it so interesting is that it's, it's sort of a way to connect with people. What's interesting about it is the creativity of the game. Well, yeah, the technicality and speed's a part of it, of course. Um, I have, like, I get driven from improving myself, and so Smash Brothers is a great way to do that. The community that we have here is a uh, supportive, fun, the honest, positive, and loving and supportive community. Everyone just wants to play Smash and just wants to have fun. We hosted here at South in the library a tournament with Queen North. That was kind of our f biggest push to start having these you know, competitions between schools and really getting into that. And it was a huge, huge success. The best thing about it is just because we brought the schools together, now we have a lot more information on North, what they want, and just like contact info too. So we're gonna be able to communicate with them more and have more of these more often. All entry fees and all uh, profits from the concession stand uh, went to Feed My Starving Children, and uh, we ended up raising over $500. We had a lot of competitions from the tournament and with the crew battle, as well as some people just playing on their own on the side. Everyone generally had fun. The overall Smash community is a combination of the competitive scene that has all these tournaments and gets into the crazy advanced techniques that you can use. And there's also the people that just play it because it's a fun game and they'll get together with friends and not necessarily have super competitive rules or get too serious with it. Or just like stay and play non-competitively with items on and have fun and just like do whatever you want. This, this community is not about like uh, hurting each other. At worst it's constructive criticism. So everyone should be feel welcome here. If you, if you play Smash and enjoy it and you're not coming to club, you should come. It's fun. Even though the Smash games are pretty different and the crowd that they draw in is different, the sense of community where everyone just wants to play Smash and just wants to have fun is really there. Even if you're new to the game, you should definitely come and like try it out because uh, we have all levels of players here, so you can definitely work yourself, work your way up if you want to. It's a lot of fun. I recommend you try it out. <laughs> Oh, hello again. Welcome to the Coker Corner. For our next skit, you better be prepared to stay on the edge of your chairs. Stay tuned for this skit. Oh, you've arrived. Have a seat. So you said you know where our principal is. <coughs> Would 
Would you like to share any more details about that? <laughs> Would you like to share any more details about that? Do you mind putting your phone away? <laughs> oh, sorry. Snapchat it. Okay, where'd you even get those? Pick a card. Any card. No, I'm not gonna pick a card. Hey, you thirsty? Uh, there's no water in this. Hold on a second. Okay, just where is our principal? Checkmate. Wait, you can't move the horse like that? Okay, just tell me where the principal is. If you don't have to remember every detail, just give me the highlights. You can have it. It's my last one. <sighs> okay, what are you doing? Oh, I had to charge my phone. It's running out of battery. Just tell me where he is. You know, I won this. Just tell me one thing you remember. Okay, 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 okay. I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? I don't know. I, uh, maybe if I can have some like coffee or something, I, I can think clearer. Okay, what's your favorite type of coffee then? I don't know that either. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait! I remember! My favorite flavor is espresso. Oh, hello there again. Welcome to the Coca Corner. Lights out, children. It's time to head to bed. Thank you for meeting us here for our wonderful Hip Dagger TV experience. Quite riveting, wasn't it? See you next time on Tiger TV. In like three weeks, that's our next episode.